Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just chilling. Got out of school. Right on the hoverboard. Oh yeah. Guys, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and do all the. Oh shit! <laughs> Dabbing. What started out as a harmless YouTube video, Liam, the creator of a high school guide to hoverboarding, was struck down by what seems to be a careless act of a dab. In this video, we will discover what exactly transpired from who done it to why done it. Join host Neil Wells as he investigates. Dabbing too far, a YouTuber story. Liam from high school on a hoverboard and the search for likes. Welcome back to Tales from Hell, Gate High School. Today, the serial dab stabber. Hi, I'm Ellen, and I'm an expert in dabology. When I've been really, everybody's been obsessed with dabs lately, and when it first came out, I didn't, I wasn't quite sure what it was, and I wasn't sure what to think of it either. So, um, so I did some research. I thought, oh, that sounds like actual fun, and then I found about this, found out about this field, and then I decided to join it. So yeah. I was just, you know, vlogging as I usually do daily vlogs at youtube.com. Anyway, uh, I uh, was just cruising on my hoverboard and I just saw a hand come out of nowhere and I could clearly see at that split second that someone was dabbing from the corner, but I couldn't see who it was and I was instantly blinded when I got hit in the face. Luckily this I survived this one not too good. He was riding his hoverboard and all of a sudden you see a hand pop out of nowhere. I don't know if you think that's crazy. That's crazy to me. So I think there's there's this new uh, trend going on in America, uh, in American culture called the dab. The dab was first discovered in 1714, right after the death of Albert Einstein. Einstein left all his notes on memes, and then tragedy struck. It took three months before for our great hero, John F. Kennedy, was able to recover these papers and bring them to George Washington. George Washington then performed the first recorded dab. Steve I, our resident conspiracy theorist of the dab, sheds some light on what he think may have happened. So you saw the hand pop out of nowhere and he gets hit and he's oh, screaming shit. for his life and then he falls down and then this guy you see this guy and i think it's the guy who who did the dab who who attacked this man who who destroyed the vlogger's life I, I like I like Liam. I think he's an okay guy most of the time. But he, I don't think he deserved any of this. And if, you know, I think it's just, I think it was an accident. I don't think anything was on purpose. I, I think it was just some innocent dabbing. He just rocks around on his hoverboard and goes, do it to to quit too legit to quit. It gets annoying after a while. He changed, man. He 
he changed. I did dab, but it was an innocent dab. I don't think I touched Liam. I, I really think that that was Owen. Jackson, well, we've been friends for a while, so I don't know why he'd do that to me. Uh, he doesn't seem too violent in a way of uh, purposefully dabbing someone in the face. Would you say he um, accidentally dabbed you in the face? Uh, that's a possibility. So like sometimes I'm hanging out with Liam and sometimes I'm hanging out with Owen. Oh, mm, yeah. I, I think I hang out with Owen probably a little more than Liam. Or at least, it's, but not, not by much. He was just like, okay, like, you know, you didn't really want to talk to him, but he was just kind of there, you know? And then afterwards, he's just like in everybody's face, you know? Just, hi, I have a hoverboard, arcade fire. I don't really care much about him one way or another, but like, uh, I feel sorry that he got dabbed. You're the old, you're the old, you're the old, you're the old, you're the old. In the eyeball, like, that's just not fun. But, um,. Do you think he deserved to get dabbed? I don't think so. Are there some people who you think should be dabbed? Oh, yes. I feel like a lot of like people getting hurt in videos could probably be staged because like, what are the chances that they just had a camera on them when they, they got hit in the nuts? Or, you know, f fell, fell like tripped over something. So I, it, it's definitely sort of suspicious. Owen was the guy who dabbed. He didn't show up in the video, only his hand did. And I saw Jackson, and he, I think, is the victim. He said sorry. He didn't say sorry because he dabbed on him. He said sorry because he fell down on the ground. He's always trying to push his religion on you. <laughs> What? What? Um, <clears throat> he <clears throat> he doesn't cover his cough a lot of the times. He's like like this one time he he coughed directly in my face and I wasn't even sick and then like the next day I was like <clears throat> I was like I was like and I was like dude I think you got me sick he's like no I had allergies I was like whatever um, but yeah and he blows his nose on his shirt which is gross. Jackson. Jackson is being a delusional tool. I think that people who are into hoverboard stuff are just like trying to avoid walking pretty much, you know? Just, I can walk, I can ride slightly faster than walking. You know what I mean? And Owen seems not like the trustworthy guy that he claims he is. And, uh, I think he dabbed on him. And, of course, no one would do that because he's not trustworthy. Could it be that true comedy must come from complete randomness, random chance? Did Liam force this humor, therefore making it not humorous, but instead fairly mundane and, frankly, Kind of miserable. These are the questions. These are the questions of life. So the questions we must ask ourselves every day of every day of every night of every day. You know what? I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know. Believe it. You know what I think? I think that Owen is the enemy. Liam is the enemy. And Jackson was the water. He was the water! Look before you dab. Wear a helmet. Use protection. Ah, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty gonna be pretty interesting is what I'm gonna say.
stabbing can be very dangerous if you're in tight spaces or tight, narrow hallways. So if you're going to dab, make sure you're, it doesn't, like, d there could be people in a room in there if you want, but um, definitely um, watch where you're going, check for people, and, um, and, the, and then if you have a grunge against somebody, don't use dabs. A viral trend will probably die eventually. So that might make things a little safer. Perhaps hoverboards shouldn't have ever been invented in the first place. Perhaps Liam should have watched where he's going. Perhaps memes are the true evil here. Perhaps Owen should give me back my sandwich that he ate last week. I want one. That was all the lunch we, we had. See you next time.